This is just going to be a quick video demonstrating the use of confidence intervals using Sigma Excel's descriptive statistics tool. Now for this example we are using the customer data workbook which you can actually find included with your Sigma Excel installation in the sample data folder. Now once you've opened your customer data workbook you're going to click on the Sigma Excel tab then you're going to click on statistical tools and click on descriptive statistics. If it's not already, make sure you use entire data table to select it and click next. Now for your Y variable, select overall satisfaction. And for your group category X1 variable, select customer type. Now make sure the confidence level is set to 95%, which it should already be, and click OK. And you'll see that the descriptive statistics are given for customer satisfaction and it's grouped by customer type, customer types 1 through 3. And we're given the 95% confidence interval for each sample mean, as well as the 95% confidence interval for the standard deviation. Now these confidence intervals are very important in understanding our data and making decisions from the data. How often, for example, are we driven by sample estimates only to fail to consider the confidence interval or margin of error? Uh, as well, newspapers will often fail to take into account the confidence interval when reporting poll results. A confidence interval of 95% implies that, on average, the true population parameter will lie within the interval 19 times out of 20.